One of the questions the Buddha has us ask ourselves every day is, days and nights fly past, fly past, what am I becoming right now? Because what you're becoming is based on what you're doing. And so what are you doing right now? Are you doing something skillful or something otherwise? Because you don't know how much time we have, but we do know we have the present moment. If you're with the present moment, you're at the right place. But then the question is, you're in the right place, what are you doing? What are you doing with this right place that you've got? That's the important question. That's why we always have to be alert to what's going on in, the, in our actions, in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds, and then evaluating whether it's good or not. We don't put it off to some other time, because we don't know how much time we've got. It could be another year, it could be ten years, fifteen years, it could be just another day. The human world is full of all kinds of uncertainties, but we do have the present moment. That's where the work can be done, so make sure you are doing good work right now. Keep tabs on what you're doing. Work on your concentration so that you have a sense of ease being here as well, because otherwise if it starts getting frazzled and burnt out, then you're not going to want to look at the present moment, and what little work you've done in the present moment just gets thrown away. And then you start up again, it goes back and forth, but this is why we've been going around and around in samsara for such a long, long time. We do skillful things for a while, and then we get tired and we stop, and then we fall back, and then we don't like where we are when we fall back, and so we start doing skillful things again. It's like a cycle. It goes up and down, up and down. It's like living on a roller coaster, and although there may be a thrill that comes with a roller coaster, it's not really a good place to stay. The place you want to stay is in the present moment where things are balanced, where you bring things into balance without any dramas, without any huge ups and downs. And then you begin to appreciate that actually when the mind is at peace in the present moment, that's what real happiness is. And then you learn how to maintain that and cut away anything that comes in to destroy that. So you're working all the time, but you're working with a sense of well-being. It's like working and gaining a wage. You keep using the wage in order to provide for your happiness, at the same time that you're still working. It's not the case that you have to stop and then wait until you've used up all your wages and then come back and start working again. You keep working and you keep developing a sense of ease as you're watching the mind. So that whatever comes up to disturb the mind, you'll detect it quickly and you have the strength to deal with it. That's how we build up stamina. That's how we stay with the practice, regardless of what's happening outside. We, because we have our own internal source to generate the power that keeps us on the path. <clears throat> 